What comes to your mind when you hear the term brain-computer interface? As the name implies, brain-computer interface is a technology to create a communication channel between a brain and a computer. Let's consider someone who has lost the use of their arms due to an accident. Electrical signals recorded from their brain can be decoded by a computer to perform some specific task, say control an artificial arm. However, the computer cannot be pre-programmed because different people might emit different pattern of brain signals even when performing the same task. So the computer has a learning algorithm to learn these signals and can then be used to perform the desired task. In laboratory settings, BCI technology is promising. However, for any practical application, it needs to be bioimplantable, something like a pacemaker or a cochlear implant. So what are some of the technical hiccups in creating BCI implants? Neurons in the brain, they communicate in the language of electricity. They transmit information by firing electrical spikes in particular patterns, something like the Morse code. However, the preferred language of electronic chips or computer is binary. So for an effective communication, we need a translator between brain's Morse code and computer's binary, which means more hardware, more power consumption, or something more difficult to implant. But what if the chip also spoke the same language as the brain? Enters my research field, neuromorphic computing. A neuromorphic chip comprises of neurons and synaptic circuit that mimic the electrical activity of neurons and synapses in the brain, removing the need for any translator. The chip also includes a learning algorithm inspired by the learning rules observed in the brain to detect spike patterns. However, to detect these spike patterns accurately, the size of the synaptic circuit required is quite large. In my dissertation, my colleagues and I have developed a new bio-inspired learning algorithm and implemented it in a neuromorphic chip. The proposed algorithm uses much smaller synaptic circuits but still maintains a very high accuracy in the pattern detection task. Compared to previously proposed algorithms, we reduced the size of a single synapse by more than 16 times. Specifically, we did this by controlling a single voltage parameter common to all the synaptic circuits while learning. The brain is now listed as one of the most complex things in the known universe. Further research in understanding it and using that knowledge to create better BCI implants has the potential to improve the lives of millions of people across the globe who are suffering with various disorders of the nervous system. Thank you. Thank you.